What's up gamers, today I want to show you the best tier 6 light tank in World of Tanks. For me, I don't know which one, the Borsig game. It is the 5916 light tank. Let's just jump straight into some games. I was yeah, I win 59% of my games in it. Now, what I would do is, uh, swap that. Because you can get 43, but then you do list some camo, so, you know, it's, it's up to you. I, I like my camo, so it's been working for me like this. I have vents, coated optics. And low noise exhaust. I've got up to 1.988, so nearly 2000 DPM. Don't forget to put your camo on the tank as you can get this up to 42%. And view range is 439, which for tier 6 is decent. Obviously, when you get into tier 8, you can be sort of combating the medium tanks that have sort of the same amount as you do. Um, but apart from that, this for me is the best tier 6 tank there is. I'm going to jump into the game and show you why I believe this is the best tier 6 tank that there is. I'll have just shown you what my setup is, the camo values. Let's just jump full to the game. So we can see here that it's a top tier game or a light tank so most people down in this level have extremely bad view range. The camo rating on this tank will be amazing. You knock this tree down, you go into it, and you can generally spot over there. Right, spot the Wolverine. I know that I can safely fire because he's not going to have the view range to be able to spot me in this tree and at 350 meters. He's fully lit up. Bang. There's the first kill. 45 seconds into the game. We knock another one down. All because I've seen the VK. Now, if you look at the VK up in B2, he's only just come across a T34, the T50, and a heavy tank number 6. But to me, I'm thinking they're either all camping or they're all coming down that line. And all we've got over there is a Matilda. Which, don't get me wrong, is a very good tank, but it ain't the best. I see the Type 64. I get spotted, so I'm I know that there's somebody in that bush in front of me. So I'm gonna push it out. And I get there and there's no one there. I get into this bush and I fire. I see it's an A43 and I know they have awful gun depression. And now look at the DPM of this tank. Three second reload. It has great pen. It literally has like 38. Although because he's not moving and there's a double bush, if I'd have moved back forward again, he would come back up. And here's the final shot. Okay, we're taking him out. Yeah, so this tank has really good pen for its standard rounds. I think it's 138. Which for a light tank at this is 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 pretty good. We blocked the shot here. But I see that our guys haven't met, haven't moved on the uh on the flank and they haven't caught anybody yet. So. We got another one. Thought that would be a kill. Now it's going to come back to haunt me not getting that kill. So we're up to two kills and we're up to 800 damage already. But the most important thing in your light tanks is to literally just stay alive. <laughs> Don't know how that. But yeah, you, staying alive is like one of the best things. Is you want to be a better player, bring your survival rate up. Okay, I see a Matilda pushing, and then I see this Matilda. Now Matilda's a tank you generally, you don't want to sit in front of. It does have good DPM and it has, I believe, 121 pen. It used to. I don't know if it still does. Okay, so a bit of a mistake there. We take too much damage. Okay, so we hit the bounce. And we can just blast through the side of him. I'm trading HP here. He must be a Marak at the speed that he's firing. There's another one out. 1600 damage and 3 kills. Take him out again. He had the better gun. Alright, I get hit by an Aleppo, so we have to move back. I hear the fuel tank, so what I do is I try and hit him in the fuel tanks again if, if it's possible. Then we see the Electo, he's disappeared, he'll still be there, so we just fire blind. 
There's six kills and 2,300 damage already. It's just so versatile, this little tank. Great view range for its tier. Somewhat trolly armor for the front of it. Like if you if if they shoot straight at the frontal plate, it, it will bounce shots as you saw off that Matilda. Now we push into their base. Considering I have six kills and 2.3k damage, which at tier six is quite a bit. We are still only 2,400 HP up. Yeah, we didn't get that shot. We didn't get lucky. And this has been quite a quick game. We're only five minutes into the game. Fire again. Start letting the DPM out. And if you actually look, I'm about to run out of standard uh, rounds. We have one left. Luckily, we only have one tank left. We have seven kills. If you think I've missed two or three last final kills, so we're firing uh, expensive rounds here. So. And there's the eight. We could have got about 10 kills in this game if we would have kill secured, basically. We, we probably could have got 10 kills. So these are the post-game stats to the Serene Coast, um, where we did 3.1k of damage and 7 kills. I ended up with the Top Gun, obviously, and a high caliber. Uh, the Panzer 5.4 ended up with... Oh, that's just, just trying to, and then you got the kamikaze, the ram on one. Uh, we got 1534 base experience. We finished that game with 43k of total uh, money made, with a total of 4602 as it was awarded for the first times two of the game. That was a mastery badge. We got the master gunner, the duelist, the fire for effect, and the bruiser. Okay, so you just saw what I did with um, the 5916 on Serene Coast, I believe it's called. Hopefully the replay is going to be okay. It said it might not be compatible. So I hope there's no issues in between. Um, this is the my first ever game in the 5916. So I'm completely stock. I'm trying to remember. I don't even think I have... A, I think maybe I have 100% crew, but... It, it, we have a beat. Yeah, I don't believe I have 100% crew. Thinking maybe the compatibility might be with the. Oh no, no, it seems to still be going. So, we'll try and get some early spots on them. Like I said before, most people at this level don't really have the great view range. Um, but as a base of this tank, I looked it up, it can get 1900 DPM. Which is, you know, that's a, that's a good amount. Okay, so somebody's obviously sitting up there, probably like the Type 64 or something. So, I build a run up. I build my speed up. I go through the bush. And I want to get into this area. Because this is like one of the most important areas. So what I do. Drive around. You go around, you keep low, and you get up into these bushes. And then from here... You can spot pretty much every tank that's around. So we'll always spot him when he comes up. You get spots on this hill with people that aren't there. So every time he moves, he'll get spotted. If the Leo wasn't there, we could probably shoot. But yeah, in a light tank, you just you just got to be a little bit patient. You don't have the armor, but you do have the camo and you do have the view. Like, currently, if I was sitting in here in, like, an M4, I'd have been spotted. I don't think there's a better feeling than sitting there and looking at your enemy 100-odd meters away. And they don't know you're there. So what I'll do is I'll speed it up a little bit. Oh, no. I was going to speed it up a little bit then, because nothing happens. Okay, let's put it on to times two. Okay, so NSU's moved in. Our team can instantly start hitting him. And there's a big gun line up on that on the uh, on that hill behind. Let me show you. Up there, all of these tanks up here are all for us. I can all see. The T26 to my uh, 
to my left from our base. Should be able to hit that one two at one twenty two. We're still spotting the Leo. We're up to a thousand spotting, which isn't the most, but it isn't counter, so this isn't isn't the greatest for it. They sent a lot of tanks that direction. Okay, so their KV one F rounds. He must have gone into the A two area and got stuck, or he went to sort of A H. Three and got drowned. Slipped off the edge. It happens. Now if this ISU and the Leo weren't there, it would be uh it would be lovely. And all you have to do is like my my T twenty six is currently pinging me, constantly pinging me. Ignore them. You know what you're doing, you're probably a better player than they are. Just ignore them. But You can see like that SU, I don't want to get hit by that SU, that what, SU-152. If it was just the Leo, I could take one shot if, if he was there. Um, and I could dip out. But the issue with this is that SU, he could have the 152 um, derp gun. And that would one shot me. Okay, so I thought he would have spotted me. He did spot me. But I see my team is all up on the hill. If my team is all up on the hill, all I need to do is give them the spots. If if I we're three and a three point eight k damage down. Okay, so that issue spotted again. See what I mean? You spot them, light them up. The gun line will deal with them. We're up to two point one. So this is a very slow game at the start. But I know that there is a lot of tanks, and they're in that forest for sure. Because currently there is two tanks that haven't been spotted yet. Target acquired. Target released. Now he shouldn't be able to spot me for a little while. Okay, the tiger's there, so we're getting some damage out. This just shows, on a big open map, with bushes and things like that, where you can keep your distance, the... Um, the light tanks are so powerful. You need to stay alive. If you can stay alive, like you think how far we're 4.6k down now. It's 6.8. So the tank difference isn't too much, but if you look, um yep in the top left on the list, I've got a half health progetto, a 10% health STA, maybe a 25, 20% health M3Y. The 88 is also probably a one shot. It's only me, the Bazato, Zotto, that has any HP. I'm just waiting for my like team to move a little bit. Just trying to see if I can get spots in this Type 64 because he's the only other light tank left. If once he dies, I'm probably pretty free though. So. Okay, so we can see him, but we can also see him. So if I now shoot, I will get spotted from him. There we go. We're keeping him lit up though. As long as he keeps moving up until about 430 meters, I will keep spotting him. Come behind the rock. But I could shoot here. If I wanted to shoot, I could shoot. But that's why you don't want to shoot because there is a 1 2 2. And there, I could shoot there and I shouldn't get spotted. But on a tier 8 tank like that, it's not really worth the um, the firing. Trying to get ever so close. So every couple of meters is it definitely matters. But it's hard because a lot of my team don't have the HP, so they're kind of scared to move. So I'm going to have to use my camo, which I think I've got up to about 39% maybe. Moving to support your position. I told the tiger that I'm gonna help him. What I want to do is use distance and my spotting with my alongside the camo to spot this T26 out before he can see me.
Oh, I see the M3, the M2Y. The M2Y is in a decent position for me. And I see the STA going towards the 122. Which isn't a bad play. It's, um, but he doesn't, he's only a one shot. Okay, so I've been spotted, which means someone's got to be in that bush. I can see the Type 64 has just been killed. The STA just gets killed. So we trade out with 3.9k of damage down currently. And bang, we spot the guard and the T26. So we know that they're over there. I need this Tiger to dish out some damage. And there he is. He's been sitting there this whole time. So what I do is I don't want to get spotted, so I jump into the bush. But I believe I get spotted. Or don't I? Oh no, I think I fire when he gets low enough. Like, you can finish targets off. Like I know that issue's there. I don't believe the IS will still be sitting there anymore. Okay, so he's a one shot. The SU is looking at me, that's a gun. But the IS... The IS is semi there. You can see I'm getting like, oh well. Oh well. He is a one shot. Do I take the shot? Yes I do. He's not a one shot. But we reload quick enough. And the STRV-74 is, is actually over there. Fire again, try to get lucky. But because I'm quite a small tank, he can't really keep hold of me. I see the time, it's a 14 seconds, so we really need to, you know, I think that's why I fired and went, because, okay, so the IS doesn't have much health, we have 6 seconds, we have 5 seconds, we have 4 seconds, we have 3, we've loaded a gold ammo here, and we get the reset. We get the reset with 2 seconds left. But we are still 1.6 down. But there's no way as clear. Nowhere near. To the one... What was it? 4.9k at one point? We're up to 4.3k of spotting. We've only done 360 damage. But now... I'm a tier 6 light. In a fight. With a tier 8 premium. I track him. Track him again. I see the 88 coming up. I can keep him looking my direction. The Brigetto's there. And he's going to be out. No need to take the hit. We're now only 312 HP down. So, tracking him there was the right play. The Brigetto managed to move in, into position, slammed and shots into the back. That SU, I assumed, would still be in those bushes. And obviously we have that Strumwagen 74, who's never been spotted. We are 12 minutes into this game, and he's only just been spotted. Okay, so we can see the arty move forwards, and we start firing into the arty. All I'm worried about is that SU-100. I don't want, like he's got very good DPM, and he might even have binoculars. Just keep them lighted up. We are now 515 advantage HP towards us. And we have a Brigetto still awake. We see the M44. We start taking him out as he could be a bit of a problem. Like he, he supports from a distance. Bang. Brigetto hits him. Five kills. And this Brigetto done really well. We might take a shot. He's out. Last one. In for the final. Yep, I hit him. And the Brigetta finishes him off for us. So the Brigetta finishes 7 kills, but we finish with a 5.4k and 764 damage. So we finish with nearly 6.3k combined. Which for a tank, that's 
stock in its first game, this is why it's the best tier 6 tank. The first ever game I did, I got the mastery in it. Um, we got patrol duty and the scout protecting at least 9 vehicles and help my team's damage 6 vehicles. Uh, we did 5.4k in uh, spotting. Only 764 in damage, but damage that we did is what counted. So the Progetto, obviously, he did get 7 kills and did 4.4k damage. So for me, he got 2 more XP than I did. Um, but he is a tier 8 and obviously I am a tier 6. Um, so, you know, not too bad. Didn't have a premium account at that point. Um, I don't just start playing the game again. So we got 1.3k. If you had a premium account, it would have gone 2.9, basically 2k. Uh, so they finished up with being a double. So it was 3.3. Obviously, with a premium account, would have been 5. It was 23k or 43k in profits. Because you don't really need to buy much gold with this, to be honest. It is a light tank. So if you agree with me, let me know in the comments below. Is the 5916 the strongest tier 6 tank? I would say if you play it correctly, this can be the, the strongest tier 6 tank there is. But if, if you don't agree, put it down in the comments let me know. If you would set your tank up any other way, or if you would have different crews or anything like that, let me know. Or if you need any help with anything, just comment down below and I'll we'll see if you can help. Uh, but thanks for watching and we'll see you next time, which should be um, a video on... The AMX 1390, which is going to be the upcoming tier 9 in the top of the tree on 5th of January. Um, I'm just a tiny, tiny bit short from the AMX 13105, but I'll also show you how to spot Cliff, which isn't a very good light tank map. But go to these positions and you should be able to win your, win your games most of the time from this position. And then there's a, a Malinovka one as well. So until next time, 